Hi everyone! Welcome to another Thursday night here at the Washington Park Library with me, Miss Amy. Um, tonight we're going to do our first part of a special two-part folded book art workshop that I wanted to do um, for Mother's Day themed. Um, so we are going to work on, look at these, some beautiful folded book art flowers. And I've already made a whole bunch of them with different little accessories. And this will be sort of your end result. We're doing, we're focusing on these type of flowers today, like the petunia based ones. Um, these are roses. I've done these in the past. Um, so I can refer you back to another tutorial if you want to know how to make those. And this will be our second part. So next Thursday, we will work on the vase within a book. So it will stand up on its own. So these are a little different than the vases I've done in the past. Um, so we'll do that next week. But this week, I'm going to show you how to make these flowers. The petunias. So first of all, get yourself in the mood for some crafting. Uh, make sure you have some uh, refreshment with you, whether that's your relaxing tea, some water to hydrate, whatever you like. Um, as you can hear in the background, I already have my radio station on, just grabbed on whatever. And yeah, so we can get started. I'm first going to let you know everything that you need, so that way you can always pause me and go run and grab stuff. Um, you need a book that is falling apart, that you're ready to uh, discard and turn upcycle into this beautiful bouquet for your loved one, uh, whether that's your mom, your sister, your friend, whoever you like. You need scissors, some tape, some glue, And I have in here a whole slew of awesome colored beads. So beads are very fun to accessorize the middle with. Um, if you want to do it like the photo, you can use these like pearl type of beads. Um, or you can do, you know, all different colorful ones. Like here I have a pink one. Here I have a gold one green. I'm going to do all different kinds because that's what I like. I like all the different colors. I've got double layered beads. Do all sorts of fun things. Oh, and you will need some paper clips as well. Um, and of course, I just forgot those, so I will be right back. Let me go grab them. See, even I have to run and grab stuff. It's forgetful these days. So here are my paper clips. All right, are we ready? We're ready. All right, so in your book, you want to tear off five pages. Okay, so you want to rip them right off your book. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make perfect origami squares. So what you want to do is you want to take one of these pages and fold it down So you want to fold it down so it makes a triangle. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to stack all your pages together and we're going to cut this part off so we have perfect origami squares. Now if the word origami sends shivers of terror down your spine, don't worry, this is not a difficult fold at all to do for the flowers. It's only like like four steps. Pretty easy. Okay, so you should have extra. You should have taken this bottom part off. 
<coughs> Excuse me. So you have these sheets. And now you have your perfect origami squares. So you should have five of them. Five for the five petals. So it will take the five sheets to make the five petals to make one flower. Okay. So I have your square. You're going to fold it back into a triangle shape. And hold it this way. So it looks like a nice little pyramid. And then you're going to bring these corners up. Okay, and do that to the other side. Okay, so we folded these up. We folded our pyramid into a diamond. Now the next step, it's a little tricky, but I know you guys can do it. So what you want to do is your corner here, this flap, the one that we just folded, you want to hold the corner part of it and then hold right down here. See how it, see how it makes like a cone shape when you do that? You want to do that and then you just want to fold it down. Okay, so that's all we're doing. Okay, I'll show you on the other side. Do the same thing to the other side. So we're gonna grab the little corner in the back, make a little cone shape. So we have, we have this flap here that we went like that with to make our diamond shape. We're just grabbing the corner, put it in your finger right in there, see? And then you're going to just fold that down, press it right down. So these shapes now look like kites, right? Okay. And then next, you're going to fold these flaps down. that was up now it's down so you're folding your kite inward same thing on the other side okay so I just folded those both in then we're gonna close this part back up again so you can still see the line and close it right in so it's gonna kind of go back to the shape that it was originally when we were in the diamond shape Now a tip is to make sure these are a little bit even. So how you just folded that in. So we have the kite here, we folded this down, and then we folded that over. See how it's nice and even? So you want the points to kind of be like that. Okay, so we're gonna fold that in. So we're back to that diamond shape. We're almost done. See, I told you it wasn't that many folds. Okay, and now, now you're going to roll it closed. So it's going to be that shape. So I'll show you again what I did. So I had it here. I'm just bringing these two pieces together, the two edges. And then I'm going to take a piece of tape. I'm going to tape it closed. So that's my petal number one. And you can space these little middle things out a little bit. They're inside. Very nice, huh? Cool. All right. And now you're going to do that four more times. So I will go over that again with you. So we got this fold. We got our pyramid fold. We got our flaps going inward. Okay, and then 
remember the little tricky one a little bit. So we're gonna put our finger in here to make a little cone and then we're gonna put it down. Same thing on the other side. Okay, and then fold, fold these flaps down. Fold it back in. Okay, and then we'll bring them together. So we roll it together. And we'll put our tape on. And there's petal number two. Okay. So, got petal number three happening right now. Again, pyramid fold. Go inward to our diamond shape. And I am going to go a little bit faster, but if you are confused, you can go back to the beginning of the video. I've been making a lot of these. So, now, now this is just for one flower. I would recommend um for your bouquet project to be ready for next week that you make at least like six or seven of these so you have a full bouquet of flowers and if you want to play on shapes you're welcome to do that too you just have to make tinier squares of paper um i wouldn't go any larger than what we've just done um, so I'll show you, well actually you could go a little larger. This is like a smallish paperback. Um, you do need a paperback book to tear apart. Um, so you could do like a little bit of a larger paperback or the smaller paperbacks and then you'll have different shaped flowers if you have that many books that you want to turn into things. I'm going to stick to all the same size because that is what I have. Okay. So we've got the petal. Number three, petal number four, and then when we're all done making our petals, I'll show you how to put the flowers together. Now, for those of you that were expecting coloring club tonight, I was originally going to do that, but I really wanted to do this nice Mother's Day project, which I knew was going to take um, at least two sessions. So I do have a whole playlist still on our YouTube channel of all the coloring clubs. So you are more than welcome to go back and try some of the projects that you've missed. Um, there's a lot on there, so feel free to do that. Okay, this is petal number four and we're doing our last petal and then we will put them together. You'll get the, into the hang of it. That's one of the, my favorite things that I love about doing the folded book art is just that like meditative quality to the repetitious like folds and stuff really enjoyed that and then one of my challenges that i've been doing for myself is when i come up with new projects to do um i try to figure out how to make it happen like i don't always know how to do the folds but looking at them and having folded a bunch of different things in different, different shapes i can sometimes figure it out what i need to do to make it look like the way it's supposed to. All right, so here's petal number five. So now what we're gonna do is I would start out, you start holding your petals. You wanna get your paper clips. So you need five paper clips. Okay. 
So you're just going to put them together. So these two are right next to each other. These are what I'm going to start with. All I'm doing is I'm just sliding a paper clip between the two outer slots to keep that together. That's all I did, the paper clip's right there. So then I'll line up another one right next to it. Okay, so you're just pinning them together. Um, if you don't want to use paper clips, you can try and glue them together. If you want to use like a glue stick or something, um, you could do that. And of course, my paper clips are all stuck together. Oh, put my down, my stuff down here. Um, but yes, yeah, so you can do glue. Um, I didn't. I like the paper clips because I don't want to wait for it to dry to hold itself together. So I got number four here. I'll slide the paper clip in. And then I, I'm having, I found this easier if you're holding it like from the bottom tip to the top to like place them. Once you get past um, like three, you can kind of do it this way. And that way you can put your last one in really, really tight. Cause see my fingers are holding, I don't have the paper clips on there yet. Okay. And then I'm doing my last two paper clips to hold it together. Okay, so there is my flower. You can see the paper clips all in there. I'll bring it up close. So there's the five paper clips holding the edges together. And now the fun part is to pick something to accessorize. Or, I mean, you can leave it like this if you don't want um, a bead or a pearl or something in the middle. Um, I like the splash of colors, so I definitely do. Um, let's see. So I think for this, this one, I'm going to do this cool little bead. Okay, so I'm just going to put some glue right along all the middle. Okay, so see, I, I got glue on there. I'm put my bead on. Ta -da! And the, the, what I like too is the paper clips add a little bit of sparkle to it as well, which is kind of cool. So there is my other flower, and you'll just let that glue dry. Be all good. All right. So like I said, keep going through with that um, until you have about six or seven, and then you'll be ready for step two next week, um, next Thursday at the same time at seven o'clock. And I'll show you how to do the vase and how to um, glue on all the flowers to the top of the book. So it has that effect that we're going for here. The whole spread out and higher than the book effect. And then you could give this piece, it will stay open like that. It would be a beautiful piece for uh, an end table, a bookcase, wherever they want to put it. Look gorgeous. So thanks for joining me tonight, everybody. I'm so, I was so excited to do this project. I love making the pretty paper flowers and it's that time of year. It's spring and beautiful. Um, so tune in next Thursday for part two. And as always, check out Mr. Kevin on Tuesday for his steam workshops. Um, those are always super fun to watch and put together something cool. And starting next week, it is May. Our tents are up outside, so outdoor programs will resume here at the library. Um, we have lots of stuff happening throughout the whole week, so come on by and check it out. All right, everyone? Bye!